Although Package Facts is traditionally a US-based market research brand, we are increasingly looking internationally, as are all marketers, all, all market research suppliers. Mexico is, of course, an obvious place to look to. It's one of the very top trading partners of the US, with about 500 billion annually in trade. In addition, we find that there are 57 million Mexican customers who have a mobile phone and thus could be making mobile payments, but don't have any kind of formal banking relationship. They are essentially unbanked. So this is a huge base of consumers who could be having access to financial services. Beginning in its simple, simplest form with mobile payment, this creates in a very attractive um, market, both nationally and internationally, for increasing banking services in Mexico. We also knew going into the Mexican market that there was huge untapped potential there in terms of consumer base. If you, if you look at Mexican consumers who are age 15 or older, more or less adult age, there are 67 million who have a mobile phone which can be used to make mobile payments but don't have any kind of formal, traditional banking or financial relationship with an institution. So that is a huge untapped market who could be making their payments by phone, making mobile, mobile payments. The Mexican economy now is one of the better performing economies in the world with the revival of its manufacturing sector. We project that the Mexican economy will, will grow at about 11% rate for 2013 through 2015. That's several times the rate of most Western advanced economies. The biggest challenge in, in the market is poverty. Approximately 40% of the Mexican population does live in poverty, and that is a rural phenomenon, phenomenon as well as an urban one. And that creates all kinds of challenges, not only with access to cell phones or to smartphones, but even at the more basic level with access to phone lines, with access to the internet, with all kinds of information services. However, the improving economy will help that, bringing more people into better paying jobs, government programs are addressing that, national banking programs are addressing that, to really help bring a wider range of banking and financial services to a wider range of Mexican consumers. In addition to being a major trading partner and a um, rapidly growing economy, Mexico is a country that has a relatively high cell phone usage rate. That's about, about 87% of Mexican adults have a cell phone subscription that is very comparable to, for example, the United States. At the same time, however, they have a low rate of access to traditional banking and financial services. Only about 27% of Mexican adults have access to that kind of service, which is about half of what you'd see in the United States. So we have a combination of a high mobile cell phone usage rate, but a low access rate to making services. Mobile payments can be the perfect way to bridge that and bring a greater range of Mexican consumers into the economic mainstream, initially through payment services, but then increasingly through relationships with financial institutions that can lead to all sorts of banking and borrowing services. In addition, mobile banking and the increase in mobile banking services will have all kinds of impact across different financial sectors in Mexico. For example, remittances, money orders from one country to the next, say for, from US to Mexico, that market in value of revenue is 23 billion annually. That is the equivalent to the GDP of a Latin American country such as Bolivia or Paraguay or El Salvador. So we have this huge amount of money moving 
from the U.S. to family and friends in Mexico. Through mobile and other alternative forms of payment, it can become much more convenient and much more economic for those funds to get to Mexican consumers.